guys, I'm back with another review. This was another game that I played during my break, and I want to share my thoughts on it. Uh, just a few announcements though, this review is going to be a short one, not as long as SWOTOR, because I didn't play it as much. As I was playing it, um, my, it, well, it's twofold. I was playing the game, I played for like four hours, four or five hours. And then um, I had gotten it for my son and I to play. And uh, well, I'm going to talk about that later because that comes as part of the review. But then I decided uh, that I'm going to stream this game. And uh, probably after Horizon Zero Dawn is done. So yeah, this is going to be a little short. So anyway, on to the review. Disney Dreamlight Valley is a really cute and relaxing little game that reminds me of my time at Sand Rock, which I have a few videos of if you want to check those out here on the channel. It reminds me of The Sims and Drake Hollow and other games like that. It's a fun, lighthearted sim life adventure game with crafting, quests, and my personal favorite, a character creator. And that's where we're going to start, is with the character creator. Character creator is very cute. It has more choices than I was expecting. Face choices are somewhat limited, but I think you can find the one that you want for your character. They have all the typical hallmarks of a character creator. You can even add freckles and birthmarks. There are a lot of different colors to choose from, or pretty much anything and some pretty great hairstyles as well, which I was pleasantly surprised and really enjoyed choosing all those different types of hairs. And I like that you can unlock more hair and clothes and whatnot as you progress through the game. So the next thing is when you get in, the way the game starts is you fall asleep and you end up in this world with the Disney characters and you meet Merlin. And Merlin tells you that he needs your help to restore their world or their town to the way it was. And it's all, and without trying to spoil too much, there's this dark magic there. And you have apparently possess a little bit of magic. So he needs your help to um, restore their memories because apparently, because I guess the characters don't, they, they've forgotten a lot of stuff and they don't remember a lot so you're helping by helping to restore the town and get rid of the dark magic you're also helping them restore their memories and that kind of thing so hopefully that's not too much of a spoiler for you guys but i think it's kind of a cute it's a cute little concept right you're also given some tools along the way like a pickaxe a shovel that kind of stuff you know because that comes in handy for crafting and um building things another positive thing that i really like very much like the sims uh is you get a base home and this base home you can upgrade you can decorate and you unlock so many things along the way as you progress through the game very much like sandrock drake hollow and the sims now crafting you can learn skills like cooking fishing and gardening that all come in handy to make gifts and supply supplies for yourself with health and stamina, which also is great because you do run out of stamina, I believe. Uh, from the time that I played it, I don't remember losing much health. I remember losing a lot of stamina. You can even interact with some of the smaller animals like the little squirrels that are running around, but I actually had a little bit of a hard time with that. I think there's only certain moments where you can interact with them, but I'm not entirely sure. I was still trying to figure that out, but you can interact with them. And of course that comes with, you know, there are a few bugs and some of the quests can be difficult to figure out, but the game is in early access, so I will be patient. I also really love meeting the different Disney characters along the way, especially Mickey, Goofy, and Scrooge McDuck, and Donald, and, and them. the the Disney characters that I grew up on as a kid uh, way back when in the day, you know, 80s. 
and Disney's been around a lot longer than that, so they just represent some happy memories of my childhood. So they're kind of special, and I really liked running into them and talking to them. And when you're talking to them, that's another thing is they'll, they'll like laugh and they'll do little sounds, but they're not fully voiced. So keep that in mind. And again, the, girl, the game is in early access, so I don't know if they'll eventually be fully voiced, if that's even in the plan, but for right now, they're not fully voiced. Another uh, good thing that I kind of liked was unlocking other Disney characters. So many of the characters have to be unlocked by going to an island or wherever they are and helping them find their way back, which is also like you help them with little quests and stuff like that. This part is a little was a little difficult for me. I only unlocked one person and that was Moana. And I was a little confused about it because I was helping her with her little quests. They all give you their own little quests. And when I completed it, she didn't leave with me. So I'm not entirely sure. Maybe she just wasn't ready to come back. <laughs> or I went to her too early because you do get choices. You get, uh, once you get to a, a certain point in the game, you get to choose between three different doors, I think. And maybe she was just not the right one that I should have chosen. I don't really know, but <laughs> um, she didn't come back with me. <laughs> uh, but like I said, I didn't really get to play much because my and this is a this is a this is where I'm gonna get into this. My I really got the game for me and my son to play, and I kind of suspected but i wasn't entirely sure that this was gonna happen so i played for about five hours four or five hours and uh had made my character and everything got pretty you know decent amount and then i you know let my son play and then what had happened is is he wanted to create his own character which was totally fine i expected him to and go through the story himself and what that did was that deleted my character so it replaces your character and it doesn't give you the option to play multiple characters like Dragon Age and Mass Effect. It's very much like that reminds me of Drake Hollow. Drake Hollow does the same thing. It wipes out your previous character and you have to basically start all over, which kind of sucks. I personally don't like that, um, especially if there's like two people playing the same game, they should be able to have the option to, to play their own character. But it is what it is at the same time, you know, I can't really complain too much because it's not an RPG. <laughs> um, so it's different. <laughs> so, but all in all, overall, the, the, the game is very relaxing. It's very, um, it's fun. It's chill. Some of it can be confusing, some of it can get frustrating, but it's very, very, like, minimal. I mean, I'm used to playing harder, much harder games that can definitely be frustrating. Like, Dragon Age Origins, for example, there are certain battles that are extremely frustrating, even on casual. So, when I compare it to a game like that, it's really not anything. Like there's a little bit of frustration. There's a little bit of confusion. You do have to figure out what you are supposed to do with the quests. Like my son was playing, when my son was playing, he uh, was helping out, I forget the rat's name, but the, the rat from Ratatouille. And he had to make the Ratatouille and it wanted him to gather the ingredients, except the quest didn't really specify what he needed and he kept trying other different things and he couldn't figure it out so we ended up having to google it but like i said compared to a game like dragon age or the last of us or anything like that it's really not <laughs> it's just a little you know what i mean like you could just go in and google and google it and it'll be fine <laughs> but yes that is my review it's kind of a short one, but I am looking forward to actually streaming this game because I think that it will be really fun and I will be posting it on YouTube. However, that will not be happening until I finish Horizon Zero Dawn. That's it for me. Hopefully this will be a summertime thing that I will do because I think it's really cute and it's really fun. 
remember that the game is still in early access and uh that's it until next time guys thanks for watching bye